Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tivo RB. I usually do travel content, but today I'm making something different. So allow me to do these videos for you whenever I'm not traveling. Today's episode is about taking the bus or the car. So let's get to it. So what is your preference, like top of the mind? Not having to consider your financial situation, not having to consider your ego or pride or your dreams that, hey, hey, I also wish to have a car. Like, let's say you're going to work. What's your personal preference? Is it the car or taking a bus? And the bus, we can just say public transport. So, because mostly in South Africa, there's like a lot of taxis and taxis in other states is a different thing. So here, taxis is more like a minibus. And then in other places, a taxi, it's more like an Uber or those small cars like private vehicles but in this case i'm talking about like a bus or a taxi in south african context you'll understand what a taxi is so what do you actually prefer without considering any other thing like when you have to go to work what would be your preference like the car or the bus okay before you give me your thoughts about your preference i think we should do a comparison of the two so we're gonna start with what? The bus or the taxi, or let's just say public transport. But we're gonna start with the bus. And then we're gonna do the pros and cons of the bus. Let's start with the pros. Well, in a bus, when you're going to work, you can relax more like you can be on your phone, you can text, you know where generation of being always been on our phones. So you can text, you can have conversations with people, especially if you like having conversations. I like having conversations with strangers or even people that I know. Just want to hear their opinion on some things. For example, hey, how was the match yesterday? Hey, how was the state of the nation address? How was this and that? All those kind of things. I like hearing people's opinions. So having to be on the bus will be ideal in that regard. And also, when you're in the bus, remember you're not the one that's driving. So you relax, you don't have to be cautious of who's at your back, who's in front, who's driving back, and all those kinds of things. You'll just relax, hoping the driver will take you to the right destination at the right time. And another thing, that's a pro when you're in the bus. You don't have to pay for petrol. <laughs> no insurance, no tires. You just pay your taxi fare or your bus fare take you from point A to point B. That's what happens when you are in the bus. What could be any other pros in a bus? Now the cons of having to be in a public transport, like your bus or taxi. How do I even begin? Well, let's say you don't like to talk. You, 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 you're an introvert or you're socially awkward like me at times. It's difficult because now in a public transport, you'll be next to somebody who's hyperactive, always want to talk. Now you don't want to say anything or you're not in the best of moods, but you have to talk because it might seem rude, it might seem as if you don't like the person, you know, that's one of those things. And then also, you have to consider how you dress like. Let's say when you go to work, there's no uniform whereby that you always have to wear. So now your whole, you can't always wear maybe your one jeans or whatever because, I don't know, we might think that people maybe, they will say, hey, this one is always wearing the same thing, but he's working. You know, the fear of being judged. So I think one of the cons of being in a public transport is that you always have to look nice. Even though it's for yourself, but at the same time it's for the people because like, hey, now you know, I shall have this chance, you know, you know, you know the things that people say in public transport. And another thing is that, let's say uh, it's, a, it's a work uh, bus, you have always have to be punctual because if it misses you, then you'll be left behind. And if it's far away, maybe from the town or from the township, how are you going to get to work? So those are the other cons of being in a public transport. You might be left behind and that's not nice. Talking from experience, it's not really as nice. And then if it's not for work purposes, like when you, 
when I travel at night, you can be limited because public transport there are certain hours where they stop operating. So now let's say you want to go somewhere at night, you want to go see a person. Then in that case, you are now limited and you can go there. Those are the other cons of like uh, public transport. And then one thing that used to be a problem, probably still a problem, the hygiene and orders. You know, sometimes when you're a clean person and you get into the public transport and it's a bit dirty, you know, there's people who are highly clean, guys. That's not high there. And you always see spots there and there. And then the orders sometimes, like the scent, sometimes it's not as good because this other one maybe has a perfume. The other one maybe probably didn't, but it's public transport, guys. These things happen. I'm not making anything up. So, yeah, those are the cons. You can add others also, but those are the ones that I think are a problem in public transport. What do you think? Now that we have uh, covered the pros and cons of a public transport, now let's get to what? The pros and cons of a personal car. We're going to start with the pros first. One thing that I like, personally like, I'm sure is a lot of us though, which is a pro playing the music in your car. Like when you have to go to work in the morning, you can just blast your music, Kali piano, why, why? Because now when it takes you, you wanna look funny if you're gonna be playing music, maybe even on your headphones. And you know, in Texas, they like to play radio at times. But yeah, let me not dwell much more into the what. But yeah, you can just play music in your car. That's one of the pros. You have the comfort of the aircon. So you know, in public transport, you can, or when you're with somebody, at times you cannot open the aircon because they tell you, you know, they always do that. They're like, yeah, I have sinuses or whatever. Now you have to switch off your aircon, but you want to get some cold air. Sometimes you just want, want some heat. So you have that comfort in your personal car. And then you can also, you know, the ones that like to smoke. In your personal car, you can smoke. That's something that you cannot do in a public transport. And also in your personal car, you don't have to wait for nobody. You know, sometimes when you're coming back from work, now there's one person there that in our public, in our like work transport, that's taking long, maybe, especially in the mines, others like in shower and all those things, or maybe other, others are still writing a report, so all those things still, you know, handing over the work to the others. So now we might have to wait for that person. But in your personal car, don't have to wait for no bad. Once it's Shaila time, you start your ignition, you go. Also, on last time, if you're using a public transport, you have to be at work. You can't be like, huh? Especially if you're working maybe in a farm or in a far place from the town, like in a, maybe 15 kilometer radius. When you have your personal car, you can just drive your car, you go to town. You buy lunch. If you're not buying lunch, you can maybe pass by the bank or pass by, you know, maybe the home affairs or whatever within that uh, given time that you have of your lunch, which is in an hour in South Africa. I don't know other places. But yeah, those are one of the nicest things you can do. And also, it doesn't matter whether it's raining or not. Let's say you're not at work. It's a weekend. You want to go somewhere. Once it rains, when you don't have a car, it's a problem, bro. So when you have your car, you can just drive regardless of how's the weather or even the time you can drive at night if you want yeah it seems like it's nice having a car and least but not last if you don't want to talk to nobody until you get to work or until your destination you can just be quiet you don't have to speak to anybody because you might be alone in your car so those are the cons no, I mean, those are the pros of having a personal car. How nice. So the cons of a personal car. I know which one you think I'm going to start with already. Yep, fuel is expensive. Mm -hmm. In South Africa, fuel is just expensive, guys. Let's not even lie to ourselves. But yeah, other places, it's a bit cheaper, so they don't worry much. But in our case, fuel is expensive here. So that's one of the cons of having your personal car because next thing if you drive a lot then now you have to change tires that's another 
uh, cons of having a car. And then you also have insurance. That's another con of having a car. In the past, uh, you're not paying any insurance, bro. You pray from point A to point B. That's all. And then, when you have a car, there's people that suddenly now want you to transport them. That can be also be a con. Like let's let, let's be honest. Suddenly someone wants you to drop them somewhere at the other place. Want you to like yeah there there. there. Okay, let's say then there's rain. Whether you like it or not, you have to take your colleagues with you and drop them off or things like that. The ones that don't have cars like you, you know, you know the situations, guys. You go to work, but I think that's another con of having a car. And then these things they also break down. Not everyone is buying like a new car, and not everyone is buying a car that's on maintenance, service plans. So all those things are the cons. Because now you have to pop up some cash from your pocket to maybe take it for maintenance or when it had a breakdown, the tow guy. Yo, it's a lot. But also, they are just expensive to buy, bro. Cars are expensive. So I will add that as a con too. Cars are expensive to buy. The prices are just skyrocket. And sometimes I ask myself, why? But yeah, those are the cons of having a personal car. What do you think? So now that we have mentioned the pros and cons of the bus and the personal car, what is your preference? Because me personally, I think I would use both. For example, going to work, if there's a staff bus, I will use a staff bus. Try to be punctual that it doesn't leave me behind. And when I come back home or on my weekends, I then drive my car to some destination that I want. But, you know, to me, it seems like that would be ideal. Even though one of the problems is that, what if now I want to go somewhere after work fast, fast before I get home? More like maybe passing by town, you know? Then it becomes different uh, in that case because some of the stuff pass, they go straight, drop off to drop off. You can play around or take some detours. But what's your opinion on these two that we've mentioned, the bus or the taxi? Now that we've mentioned both the pros and the cons. And also, I wouldn't like, and I still don't like, having to travel with their family in public transport. So I would use a personal car for that, knowing very well that, okay, we're going to maybe like a vacation, you know, we can get away, or we're just going somewhere for some responsibilities. And then I would prefer having a personal car because we can have some conversations, we can do some plannings. You know, it's nice in a personal car than in a public transport, whereby now everyone is listening, now maybe everyone might wanna talk, but yeah, those are the things that I would love having a personal car for, having to travel with the family. But for work, just use the public transport, man. And even if when you're going to some places alone, plus me, I love hitchhiking because yeah, I get to talk to people and learn. So I'll use public transport for that. Whenever I have to just go somewhere alone though, without anyone else. Because hey, these days, the honey is the, the one you to fetch them, so it's tough when you don't have a car. But anyway, what can you say? And to those who have cars and use their cars for almost everything, whether going to work or for personal use, I just want to ask a question. Uh, let me know on the comment section. Would you go back to full-time public transport, even though you still have your car? Would you go back to full-time public transport? Or you wouldn't? And if you don't, why wouldn't you go back? Even though we've mentioned both the pros and the cons, but based on your experience right now, would you go back to public transport? And to those who don't have the cars and comfortable, yeah, I'm gonna use the word comfortable with public transport. Do you see the need of having a car? Or you just don't see any need at all? Please let me know in the comment section. Because you know. Things have been advanced now, especially if you stay in these big cities. 
so yeah if you are still with us right now please like and subscribe and thank you guys for tuning in up until now now that you are closing up what we've been talking about i think it all depends on the environment at the end of the day what do i mean if you stay in the advanced or like better cities or towns like your Joburg, like your Cape Towns and so forth, you get the idea. You don't really need a car, do you? I think you don't need a car in those cities. I think you can use your Ubers. They can be convenient than public transport at times. And public transport is just working around those places. Unless I don't know, you'll teach me or you'll educate me though. But I just think you don't need to have a car when you stay around those cities. Because even if there's someone that you need to fetch, you can still Uber them and then they'll come to you. It just looks easy and or maybe easy is not the right way, but it just looks convenient enough in those big cities or towns. And then unlike when you stay in the less developed uh, places, then you definitely, definitely need a car at times. Unless you are just like me, that you don't mind anything and you can just get into a taxi anytime. You can hitchhike if it's inconvenient, like on Sundays. You know, on Sundays in the small towns and, and like rural areas, you don't really find transport on Sundays. So now you have to know that you want to waste a lot of time trying to either hike or wait for that transport that's going to come. So yeah, I think it's all about the environment and closing that you are in or the area that you are in. If it's well developed, you don't really need a car. But yeah, what's your conclusion? Taking the bus or the car? Let me know. My name is Tiwarbi. Thank you for tuning in. Peace. Until the next time. We out.